everyone, welcome to welcome to a new live stream. Let me just position this camera. Not even, it's not a camera, it's a phone. Um, good morning, everybody. I want to say that I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Happy Friday! Um, just in case you don't know who I am, my name is called Queen. I am an international motivational speaker, a TV presenter, PR media coach, and a beauty pageant director. Um, so I'm with you right now to talk to you all about my program which is called Stardom and um, I do appreciate that a lot of the Brits are at work right now I mean I know that a lot of people that would be here right now um, some of you may be working so I'm just gonna cover everything in this video if you're watching live thank you for being here if you're watching on the replay do join um, uh, sorry please do let me know leave me a comment below and one thing I want to say to you is if you don't get to like watch this in full come back and watch it later if you think that there's something here for you um, I will be doing some other videos on like motivation and talking more about PR and everything like that throughout the whole of this month um, and just giving you as much success tips and encouragement that I can possibly give you but I want to talk about my program just because I wanted to cover some of the questions and answers and I did one yesterday but I'm just gonna kind of like do it again because um, I wanted to sort of cover a few things that I really think will be helpful to you Okay, so first and foremost, first and foremost, I want to say to you that, you know, for if, for whatever reason, if you have watched this video, like if you even watch three seconds of it, there is a reason why you've been pulled here. Um, you could be anywhere in the world. You could literally be in Tokyo right now. And even if you're in Tokyo, if you're watching this video, there is a reason why you're watching it. There is a reason why we buy the, the water we buy from the shops. There's a reason why we always buy a specific type of chocolate. There's a reason, the reason why that we buy a certain type of perfume, why we choose one brand over another, why we choose one product over another. Hi, estimated, est, hold on, sorry, estimated, esteemed, Excel Esther. Welcome. Um, so basically, there is a reason why we choose one brand over another. There's a reason why you've got an iPhone instead of a Samsung, or whether it be a Samsung instead of a iPhone. We choose things for a reason and it, usually it's because we feel called to have that product or that service. We feel like we're being pulled to buy that thing. Um, but this can also apply to, you know, courses and programs and events you attend, people that you meet and so on and so forth. And I really want to encourage you right now that if you're here, like I said, then there is a possibility that maybe, maybe, maybe um, my program Stardom might be right for you. So I'm going to talk to you about it. It's called the Stardom Bootcamp. And I'm just going to like really, really give you the details of what to expect. And, you know, you can actually make that decision for yourself whether you would love to join or not. But many of you that are going to be possibly thinking about joining, you've probably been watching my live streams for a, for a while. And so you're probably like used to my content. You're used to, what I, you know, what I say online and, and how I show up. And so you probably have a very good idea of what I can bring to the table in terms of like, you know, you will know whether my content resonates with you or not. Um, so... The what my boot camp is all about is it's basically a kind of like a celebrity in the making boot camp where I'm going to be training you on how to get as much publicity for your brand as possible, how to basically prepare your brand for all things PR and media. So, for example, I do not believe that anyone that's going to have this really, really big, 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 big brand in real world, not just online. But if you want a really amazing, powerful, big brand out there and you want to be taken seriously, you definitely do need some flyers, a business card, a backdrop, a banner. You do need posters behind you when you're organizing events and so on and so forth. And many people wouldn't really do those types of things. They will think, oh, you know, marketing online, so I don't need a business card, I don't need a flyer, I don't need a backdrop, I don't need banners and so on and so forth. So I'm here to kind of like sort of say that from a PR perspective, don't even dream of thinking that somebody like Kim Kardashian doesn't have like probably flyers and banners and press kits and I'm sure she has like the shebang and that's the reason why if any of you have watched Keeping Up With The Kardashians you probably would have noticed that you'll see that in you know the office whichever office it would be whether it be Chris's office for example you might notice that Chris has you know big like what's the word like framed photos of Kim Kardashian and the daughters that are like on the cover of magazines blown up you know because they value they value these you know achievements and they realize the value of that cover you know that amazing cover 
this is valuable, this has proved something, and it's also a way to attract more of the same. So you have to treat yourself as a brand. I honestly want to encourage you to do that. And that means, you know, if you need to have, you know, your own banner when you go speaking at events or when you do the book signings or when you are, you know, hosting a workshop, then so be it. You know, I'm definitely going to be having that. I do have like, I did throw away a couple of our pageant ones just because they were a bit old and we're going to be reordering some new ones. But whenever we organise the pageant events, apart from last event we had, probably the last two events, we usually have like backdrops and we have like these big posters everywhere people we get girls to hold the posters as well and the reason why we do all of that is because it we need to show we're a brand we need to show that we're a company think about like nokia you know i was just looking at everything to do with nokia recently and i know that nokia is not as big as it used to be back in the day but i was looking at the reason why they did fall from that grace you know and you know by god's grace i do wish them all the best and i hope that they can have a big comeback but um, and obviously, you know, being with, uh, you know, iPhone and Samsung. But the reason why people say, or like I watched a video, I'm going to probably share it. But the reason why they say that they did actually not, you know, end up being as successful as they're meant to be is because of the fact that, you know, unfortunately, they did not change. They didn't change with time. And so that's what many people do. They don't change. They don't change. They don't make any like effort. They don't try different things you know many of you are just on social media posting on facebook every day it's like you just this is your tv and it's like i want to assure you not even assure you but i want to encourage you to really think outside of social media i want you to think of social media as part of your marketing pie not as the only thing you do and that's what this program is about it's really about me showing you exactly what i did to become a multiple award-winning beauty queen what i did to become a singer that travels all over the you know the UK and abroad singing at events what I did to become a international motivational speaker that gets to speak in the UK and abroad you know I get to speak at all these conferences I get to participate at conferences I get to speak at seminars and I get to be on TV like literally all the time um, not necessarily like uh, the way it works with television is sometimes you can film episodes and then it's just repeating over and over and over in different countries um, so what did I do to start getting like lots of media opportunities? I'm, obviously, I've shared a video a live stream recently where I talked about that, but I am going to be covering it in a lot more detail in my program, along with like worksheets and you know mini video trainings I'll be doing, and um, some bonus like you know templates and so on and so forth. So you can actually you know work through some questions and brainstorm and come up with ideas of what you want your brand to be like in 2018. What I want to take you away from is the whole idea of you just being on social media. That's like kind of like my big vision. My aim is to help you to, to really go global. This means traveling to loads of events. So I've been to 45 cities and states and some of them I've been to multiple times. So for example, if I say that I've been somewhere like Essex, you know, I've been to Essex like how many times? Literally like probably about 15 times or something like that. So it's not just, that, oh, I've been to 45 cities and states or I think it's 46 by now, but um, it's not just that, it's the fact that I've gone so many times to many of them as well. You know, for example, I've gone to Bulgaria. I've been to Bulgaria um, seven times, uh, and that means that uh, when I say that, I mean I've been over a period of like seven years. Well, it's not even really been a period of seven years. It's more of been a period of, I think it's been about nine, a nine year period, but there was one year around that time that I didn't go, or, or I think it was, I don't know, it was just some, there was one year or another year that I didn't go. I think it was 2011 I didn't go. And I think other than that, I've been every year. So it might be eight years, eight years I've been going. I don't even know. I'm, I'm completely lost at the moment. <laughs> it's too early in the day. Even though I did wake up very early, to be honest with you. I actually woke up early from reading, writing, preparing, um, but I'm still definitely very tired. <laughs> um, so anyway, the whole program is about like, you know, TV presenting, like how to get TV work, how to get you know, great PR for your business, magazine features, um, TV interviews, how to make appearances, everything to do with the glitz and the glam in terms of like stardom. Everything to do with like, how do you get in front of these cameras, the big cameras? How do you get in front of the big stages, like all the stages out there? How can you speak at sta on stages? How can you perform on stages? How can you travel? How can you get out there in a big way, not just online? I'm telling you, your life will be so much more exciting if you understand how to leverage the power of PR and media to your advantage. Why do you think that like Katie Price or whether it be Beyonce or 
Mariah Carey or whether it be um, Gabby Bernstein or you know uh, Tony Robbins why do you think they focus so much of their time organizing events or traveling or doing these tours or you know Casey Price is not a um, she's not she's, she's a singer but she isn't necessarily touring just to sing I know she's got like that song at the moment but she's not necessarily touring to sing she's actually just putting herself out there because she understands the power of touring she understands the power of meeting her fans. She understands the power of getting out there in a big way. Hi, Sally, Sally's here. <laughs> Welcome, happy new year. Um, so basically it's just so, so, so powerful. What can happen when you put yourself out there in a big way? What can happen when you go for your dreams like never before and really allow yourself to explore? Like what do I really want to achieve in 2018? And I can guarantee that some of the things that you would want to achieve are not necessarily the things that you're actually even doing right now. Thanks for the likes. <laughs> um, oh, hi, Indari, welcome. Um, yeah, so sometimes we actually think that what we're doing right now is what we want to do. Like, I know for a fact, I was writing down today, if I could have the best day today, this is what I wrote down, I wrote, if I could have the best day today, what would I be doing? And I realised that if I had the best day, I wrote down some crazy stuff. I wrote down, I would go go out and meet Jennifer Lopez for, and have lunch with her for one hour. I would meet with um, Anthony Joshua and coach him on PR, for example. And um, that's like, give it, I was like going through some ideas of what would make this day like amazing. I would go and buy a new iPhone X, you know. I would go to Madame Tussauds today. If this was like one of the best days ever, I would go to like Sweden or something like that. Like. We think that this is impossible, like that we couldn't live that life where we could just be buying the things we want, going to the places that we want to go to and having the quality of life that we want to have. Like if you want to go to the Grammys this year, what is going to stop you from going to the Grammys other than yourself? Like nothing can stop you if you've made that, if you've set your intention to go to the Grammys. If I decide today I am going to Madame Tussauds, I'm going to go, like nothing can stop me. If I've got the money, if I've got the time which I work for myself so I could definitely go um what can stop me is and, and that's the thing like I made a decision to be the person that was like do you know what I actually want to go to Bishop's Avenue and I want to go and look at the mansions down there and I'm just gonna like you know spend the spend it that's you know I don't know if many of you know what I'm talking about but it's basically called Millionaire Row or Billionaire Row where like all millionaires or billionaires live um, in the UK it's called Bishop's Avenue and it's this place where there's like these massive mansions I think it's like the big the place where they have the biggest mansions in the whole of the country and um, You know, I've been there twice where I was just like I'm not I wasn't really like going for a reason I was just going to like Window shop like this is gonna be my life one day like I'll have mansion a mansion You know and just kind of put myself in that zone I've done that so many times where I would go to like the car showroom and just be like okay let me just go to the, the Audi shop or let me go to the Mercedes store and just like you know the, the showroom let me just like test you know, like play around with the cars and take photos and put myself in that space you know whether you're having that right now even if you're not achieving that right now put yourself in that space I would go to the designer shops and just like try things on and you know we need to do that a lot more than we're doing we need to go to the places that we want to go to that we would love to have as part of our lives. Like if you want your life to be that you're a best-selling author, you should go to the bookshop more and just like pick up books and just allow yourself to be like, Do you know what? This really could be my life. There is no difference between, you know, like if you think about it this way, you have a choice. You could decide today you're going to go to Asda or you could decide you're going to go to Waitrose. You could decide you're going to take, you, you could say to yourself, look, I've got 300 pounds right now. I can, if I want to, like if you have the time, you could decide you're going to take that 300 pounds and you can, or 300 dollars, and you could decide you're going to go to, like you're going to, you're going to go to Alton Towers. I don't know if any of you know what that means, but um, in the in the UK, Alton Towers is like this kind of like big theme park. Um, or you could decide, you know, what, with that 300 pounds, I am going to just, you know, get some socks, get some underwear, and I'm just going to get tights, and I'm just going to like buy some cleaning materials for home, which is they're both good. But you could have an an adventurous day. And just decide you're going to go like go to Alton Towers and have so much fun and just do all these amazing things or you could decide to have a very normal day where you're like okay let me just buy socks and just you know you, everything doesn't have to always be planned by the way like you don't always have to know exactly what you're supposed to do so you, you shouldn't always live a life where it's like 
oh, I know that today I, I am going to do something normal just because of the fact that I didn't plan to do something exciting. I didn't plan to do something out, outlandish. So sometimes it is about just like living in that moment and just being like, you know what? Today, I want to go to Billionaire Row and I'm going. So that's the kind of life I live or I used to live. And I want to kind of get back to that in 2018 um, in a very, very big way. I've set myself a big challenge this year to do a 200 events tour. This means that I'm wanting people to like invite me to speak at their events. I'm going to be putting the word out there that I'm available for singing, teaching, speaking, making an appearance, you know, you name it. Charity fundraising, activities. I'm available to come and speak at your, you know, available to perform at, the, at wedding events or sing, um, you know, like shows, whatever. Like I am putting myself out there and I've got experience. I've done all this before, so it's not anything new to me. And, you know, lots of media interviews. But the thing is, I want to take you on that journey with me. I want you to be like doing it too. If you set yourself an intention this year that you're going to write your book, you're going to start a podcast show and you're going to go to 15 countries. I want you to be like, I can do it and join my boot camp and let me like encourage you to do it. Because everything I'm creating as content is going to be showing you exactly how to break into the media, exactly how to travel more than ever before, exactly how to live life a bit more like a celebrity, okay? So it's not necessarily that you have to buy a mansion tomorrow or something like that, because obviously these things may, may take time, but it could just be you, you starting to really focus on your dreams more. So maybe you start working on that book, or you start going to view mansions, Maybe you might get a mansion in five, you might have a mansion in five years, but you may want to start preparing for it from now. What, why not? Like, what else do you have to do that's so exciting and so interesting than to focus on your dreams? Your whole life should be about you focusing on your passions, your goals, your dreams and your aspirations. Of course, you've got to think about your food. You've got to think about what you're going to eat. You've got to think about the basics. But if you're not living to achieve your dreams, then how can you feel f fulfilled inside? How can you feel happy? You know, and so... To this year, 2018, is a year of you adding a lot more star quality, a lot more stardom, a lot more, um, you know, adding a little bit more fabulosity, glamorosity, all these good things, adding it all into your brand, infusing it into your lifestyle, infusing luxury, infusing joy, infusing happiness, infusing excitement into all you do so that your year can be amazing. Um, you can live the life that you really want to live. And you can do this whether you have the money or not, because at the end of the day, the more you do what you love, more all those good things that you want will come to you. Abundance will come to you, wealth, prosperity. You know, Jojo, I don't know if any of you remember Jojo, she used to sing that song, um, the song with Bow Wow, Baby It's You. And what she was saying, I really loved, because she was like, you know what? When she discovered music and when she discovered singing, and when she discovered that she wanted to be a recording artist and everything, and when she started to make it happen, she has never worked a day in her life since because she loves what she does. And that is exactly what I want for you guys. But what I think is, to me, I see as a problem is I see a problem when many of you are so gifted and talented, but you're not really using those gifts and talents. Like you're not singing on those stages. You are just like hiding on Facebook. And it's very tempting to want to just do things like live stream or blogging or make videos. Thanks for the like. <laughs> it's really tempting to do that. It's so, so tempting to want to only stick to social media and then just be like, I'm not going to go to any events because, you know, I just, I'm now doing this. But let me tell you something. You're in the, in your deepest part of your soul. If you are the kind of person that is destined to be a star in any way, shape or form, you're probably longing for so much more and that so much more would mean you want to go to those award shows you want to perform on stage you want to speak at a conference you want to be invited to go to this red carpet event you know you've done a lot of the hard work you've paid the price that's why you're here because you've paid the price you've done the hard work you've done all the social media stuff you're now time you're you're now ready it's now your time to go global you know, and this could be, you know what, this year, you could make this year so different by just being like, you know what, I've always wanted to go to, let's say you want to go to Dubai, you want to go to Abu Dhabi, let's say you want to go to Africa, you want, you've always wanted to go to South Africa, let's say you've always wanted to do a 10k run, let's say you've always wanted 
to basically go and like have, um, you know, go to Buckingham Palace, for example. You could set that as your challenge. You can set that as your mission for the year and be like, you know what? I'm going to use the Stardom Bootcamp just to push myself to like work towards those goals. So it's really about like people coming together, all of us coming together in this group, in this Facebook group, a prep Facebook group where I'll be live streaming 15 times over a period of 30 days. And I will be just basically sharing with you, you know, everything I did to make it in many, many different ways in terms of like just using my talents to the full, how I got over 100 TV interviews, how I traveled to 45 cities and states, um, how I got to be in magazines and newspapers like OK and the Islington Gazette and the Voice newspaper and the Echo and how I get to, you know, work with all these beauty queens and models and millionaire coaches and how I get to like basically coach people that are just absolutely like phenomenal in this world and um, how I get the opportunity to, like I said, work. I've worked with over 150 beauty queens, models, I've worked with millionaires, I've worked with, um, you know, YouTubers, um, I've worked with stars, you know, stars, as, stars in the making as well. And I have met at least 25 celebrities in real life. And so I want you to become a little bit more media attractive. I want you to have that joy in your life. I want you to feel more excited about life. And I know that you're going to be so tempted, possibly tempted to just live a very normal life this year. And of course, you might set yourself a few goals. But without the charisma, without the confidence, without that boldness and without that courage, you might just end up just doing what you normally do. Now, I want to quickly show you one thing. So I've got this here. I'm not going to show my address, but basically this is a letter and this is like from the professional beauty show. Now, they always send me this, this you know, letter because I've subscribed and um, basically it's the, it's the event I go to like pretty much. I try to go like at least once every other year, but I, I'm trying to make it a thing where I go every year because I just love this event so much. So the reason why I'm talking about it is because this is an invitation I've received. You know, I've received this invitation to go to the professional beauty show, right? And it's coming up in February and I know this, com I know it's coming up already. Now, I could decide, you know what, I want to go... But I could be looking for all the excuses for why I shouldn't go. I could say, oh, it's too far because it's in XL London. So that means I have to get out of my comfort zone to go there. I could say, oh, I don't have anyone to go with. Who's going to come with me? What if they don't turn up? Like, what if they change their mind and don't come with me? Then I go on my own. That's another excuse. Another excuse could be that maybe I'm going to think that I would be a bit, you know, lost in the crowd. Like maybe, you know, when you go to an event, you're like worried that, oh, my God, it's going to be really big. How am I going to cope with the crowd and everything? I love crowds, by the way, so that's not me. But what I'm saying is, because um, I am actually an extrovert, so I actually thrive more in crowds than I do even on my own. So I get really bored when I'm on my own, but when I'm with people, I'm like, woohoo, you know? So I'm definitely more of an extrovert. But however, you know, we have all these fears that like, oh, if I go to that event, you know, what if it's not that good anyway? What if I don't make, what if I don't get anything out of it? What if I just waste my time going? But you know what? The way I see it is every time you go to a high profile event, a celebrity event, a charity, sh a charity event, a theatre show, a museum, a, a event that like entertains you, amazes you, a event or a conference or a seminar or some kind of, you know, some kind of like event that impacts your life or where you are so inspired or where you have so much fun. I believe that this adds so much more, this makes you more charismatic, it makes you more interesting and then as a result you start to attract more good things, you attract more abundance, more money, you attract and um, people start to be like, oh my god, there's something really amazing about you, what is it? Like they can't put their finger on it. That's why celebrities are so famous because they go to all these events, they travel, they are always doing amazing, interesting things, captivating things and then we're like, what is it about this person? It's not just the music. There's loads of singers out there. Why have no one running around after them begging to get their autograph? I'm a singer, you know, there are many singers out there. Like, why is it that there are some people, even on social media, people that you, you watch right now, people that you are addicted to watching, some of the people that you watch, you watch their live streams all the time, or you're always, you know, you're always obsessed with everything they do. The reason why you feel that way like the reason why you have to go and watch someone's replay or the reason why you have to be like, oh my God, 
um, you know, so and so is online right now, let me quickly watch it. Or the reason why you're subscribed to certain people on YouTube, or the reason why you follow certain people on Instagram, is because there's something about them that stardomness is like they are oozing stardom, they are oozing charisma, they are oozing like oh my god, excitement and joy and they seem abundant and they seem interesting and they seem fascinating and that's the reason why and the reason why they seem like that is because they've just developed themselves they've just put themselves out there in a bigger way they just they are just deciding to live that dream life that dream life i call it living the media dream um so if this is for you like if you resonate with any of this then i definitely want to encourage you to check out the website you can go to www.queenchummedia.com forward slash stardom check out all the details about the program the link is above and i'm going to post it below as well do you know what i'm going to tell you quickly again what it is it's literally like a you know it's a boot camp i'm going to you know be live streaming in a private facebook group for all the members members only um everyone that signs up and what it's all about is that i just want to pour into you exactly what you need to do to get the pr that your brand needs or that you need as a personal brand. You might not be a brand. You might just be a person that just wants to add a little bit more like amazingness to your life. Like you might just want to like add the dazzle, the shine, the sparkle, the glitter, because maybe you're bored, you know? And one thing that you can do to make life a little bit more interesting, it can be as basic as just like buy a sequin bag. Get like, get a little like, you know, get like glitter nail varnish for goodness sake. Like sometimes it's just the little things that's going to add that dazzle or that shine or that sparkle to your life. And that will change everything or that will make life a little bit more interesting. Why do you think that celebrities wear all these gold outfits and these sequin dresses and, and they have to have like maybe like, you know, these kind of like headbands with like a pink bow on it or something? Why do you think that Lady Gaga dresses so you know, outlandish and, and so like fabulous and quite creative and so on and so forth. It's not just because she wants to attract attention. It's because she wants her life to be interesting. She wants to feel good. She wants to like, she, she's realized that I need to, I want to feel a certain way. And so I need to do things that will make me feel that way. You know, and many of you are not taking enough calculated risks or not, not taking enough risks full stop. You're not really bothering to try anything new. You're not trying to be um, a little bit different or doing more of what you love. Um, one of the things that I'm going to get you all to do in this program, just one little thing that I wanted to quickly share is that you're going to figure out what you really love and you're going to figure out what you enjoy and what is so, so good for you. What, what are your brand colors? You're going to figure out like what makes you shine? What is your gift? What is that thing that if you do, you just like, everybody will just be like watching you while you do it. Like, is it singing? Is it, is it acting? There is something inside of you that you're probably not even aware of that you have inside of you. So it could be that you you would make a great presenter. You know, I've had people say to me, oh my gosh, you'll be so good as a presenter for children, you know, because I've got that kind of personality where I'm like quite, you know, charismatic and quite fun and quite lively. And I used to work in a nursery and the kids would just be like excited whenever I was, do whenever I would do like storytelling and all of that, they would be like screaming with joy. You know, and I used to dress up like this this um, character called Miss Sparkle. And I would be like, Miss Sparkle's here. And then they would be like, woohoo. Like, they'll get so excited. And I'll be like, Miss Sparkle. And then I'll do things like, like, pretend that we're making a cake. And I'll be like, let me give you an example. We're going to make a big, big cake. And we're going to add the flour. We're going to add egg. We're going to add sugar. We're going to add a little bit of salt. We're going to add the yeast. And we're going to let the cake rise. And it's going to rise. And then we're going to carry the cake. And it's going to be a big, big, big cake. And we're going to try, and we're going to try, and like, we're going to try and put it on the table. And then once it's on the table, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I'll like carry on like that. And then the, and then I'm, at the end, I'll say, and then the cake was really big and all the children ate the cake. Gump, 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 gump. <laughs> and then all the children had so much fun, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And then at the end, I'll be like, and we all said, hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray. And then all the kids will be jumping up and down and they'll be like, hip, hip, hooray. But I mean, obviously I'm trying to like, keep my voice down because I don't want the neighbors to think I'm like crazy. <laughs> but, um, but basically I used to bring that like excitement, entertainment to my job, you know, when I was working in the nursery and I didn't work in the nursery field for too long because it wasn't really my thing. But while I was there, I was entertaining. I was fun. I was like the life of the party. 
Um, obviously, other people were the life of the party too, not just me. We all had our own thing going on. But you, you can't just like work with children and be boring. You can't go to work and add no value there. You can't be on stage and you don't shine and you just go there wearing a grey shirt. You know, you can't just, unless, you know, obviously if you love grey, wear it. But what I'm saying is sometimes we act so bland and boring. We don't add creativity. We don't do the things we love. We don't do the things that we enjoy. We spend our time going to events or places that we don't love. And then we work in jobs that we hate and we wonder why we're miserable, you know? So hi, Gillian, welcome. So that's the reason why I created the Spartan Bootcamp. You know, it's for the creatives, it's for entrepreneurs. It's for people that want to get out there in a bigger way in 2018. It's for you if you want high levels of motivation, high levels of accountability, high levels of support. It's for you if you are just like done being boring. Like if you're just like, you know what? I need a little bit of fascination in my life. Like this year, you're going to notice I'm going to show you so many amazing things through live stream. I'm not going to just be live streaming like in my comfort zone. I'm going to like hire a, like I'm going to, let me give you an example. I'm going to basically like hire a room at a hotel and I'm going to be doing some of my live streams there. I'm going to like gonna create a set. You know, I'm going to have like banners and backdrops. I'm going to have like props, for example. I'm going to dress up sometimes. And I want to make this more entertaining. I think it's boring if all I do is sit down and talk through a screen like this. Like, I think it's boring. And what I did with my pageant business, the reason why it was so successful and it grew so fast is because I was, I was like, you know what? We need a pink backdrop. We need some balloons in the background. I was like literally airy-fairy in the sense of like, um, you know, fun. I was like a princess. I was like, okay, let's make this really fun. Let's get balloons. Let's like, I really went out of my way to make sure that, that everything was really fun. And I would be like, let's go out to these events. Let's take photos. Let's do a photo shoot day. Let's do a video shoot day. And the girls and women would, would just absolutely love it. And, every, and everybody wanted to get involved because it was so entertaining and so much fun. And then every time I would organize a event, like one of the pageant events, I would have a different theme each time. So for example, it could be the summer you know, the summer theme, so it would be like wear summer clothes, it would be all about like, you know, they would, we'll have one round in the pageant where um, they would have to have, you know, an opportunity to wear anything that represents summer to them. Or like I created things that were really fun. So for example, we have the pink fabulous newsletter. I could have just called it the, the newsletter, you know, I could have called it the pageant newsletter, but I called it the pink fabulous newsletter. Um, one of the things that we would do as well is we had like unique rounds as well in the pageant. So we have a round called the little black dress round. But then we also have like at the grand final, we normally have like a little black and white dress round. And then they have to wear certain things like silver shoes or gold shoes or white shoes. And it's just so that they all look a certain way on, you know, on, on stage or, you know, when they're like walking and everything. And it just made everything look so fun. I would have things like a fancy dress round once in a while where they'll have to dress up wearing all these costumes. We have the United Kingdom wear round where they have to wear like, you know, something that represents Great Britain, red, blue, white, or whether it be the England colour, like the England flag colour, the England um, flag colours, or whether it be Scotland, you know, the Scotland um, flag colours, or whether it be, yeah, so Scottish flag colours, or whether it be like the, the Welsh, you know, the Welsh whole, the flag, you know, representing Wales. Um, so that would be like orange and white, and um, I think it's orange, white and green. So basically, it was just so much fun. Like people wanted to wear the United Kingdom wear around and buy a costume and have to like dress up in this like UK outfit with the flags going on and everything. They wanted to do that. That's why they came to the pageant. If it was just the same as every other pageant, we have the evening wear around, we have, you know, the fancy dress. I mean, the, um, there's a round called the party wear around. If we had just the fitness wear around and just made it so standard and boring then i'm sure people wouldn't be wouldn't have been that interested but by us adding the uniqueness it made it more fun and then also we had like amazing judges that would come like i would always make sure that we had high profile judges celebrity kind of celebrity kind of like beauty queens there when i do that i mean as in um they weren't necessarily celebrities in the sense of like maybe they weren't like famous but what i mean is like they were like famous people you know they were like famous people in the sense that we would know who they are in the industry so you know like in every industry people are well known so they are like well-known people in the industry and they're very amazing by the way very fabulous um 
so the more like successful you are in the industry the more you're considered like a celebrity or a famous person or whatever like that um and you may not be famous to the whole world but you'll be famous in that industry you'll be famous in that space and that's what many of you need to do or that you are doing but you can step it up a lot more okay so yeah like i just wanted you to just really think to yourself like okay what do i want to achieve this year and what am i going to do to make it happen and just really get the accountability you need to make it happen okay so you might be wondering you know who is this not right for this boot camp is definitely not right for people anyone that would think that they just don't want to move to the next level number one you don't want to move to the next level you have no interest in investing in yourself you think that everything that you achieve in life must just be free things like as in you you feel like the only way you're going to be successful is if you watch stuff for free on youtube if you Google everything for free. If you never buy a book, you never join a course, you never go to an event that you have to pay for. Like if you think that everything is just about being, like if you don't want to spend money and you don't believe in investing in yourself, I can guarantee that you will, it will be really difficult for you to move to new heights. Because I know for a fact that even me just having this tripod that my phone is leaning on right now, I had to pay for that. And it cost me about 15 pounds for my tripod. And this looks so much better than when I'm holding it like this and I'm filming and I'm trying to hold the camera by myself when I'm trying to hold my phone. It doesn't look that good. It looks better when it's on the tripod like this. And so many of you don't realize that by you investing and learning new things, you're going to learn things that you're going to add to your brand or your business or you're going to add to your personality and you're going to just like go from this level and it's going to take you to that next level. So this program is definitely not right for you if you're a whiner, a complainer, if you just want to like moan about everything in life and you don't want to actually work on your problems and make your life better. If you just want to complain about it, it's not right for you because this program is for people that want to make their lives better and but they're not just willing to sort of like cry about the past. They're thinking about like moving forwards into the future. And this course is definitely not right for you if you're looking for a get rich scheme. So if you think, oh, this this course, if you're expecting like this program to basically make you a millionaire tomorrow or something, or if you're, if, if you're expecting this program to put you onto TV tomorrow without you even doing any work, if you're not going to implement anything, and if you're thinking that like there is this guarantee that if you do the course, you're going to be, in, you're going to definitely be on TV a hundred times like me, definitely like I would say to use a bit of like obviously the, what I want to say to you is there is no get rich scheme everything takes time you know sometimes things happen overnight you could get breakthroughs overnight a lot of my clients get breakthroughs overnight like they work with me and then within a week they've been booked to speak at events they've been booked to be in, in the media and so on and so forth so of course I believe in success happening really quickly but I also want to encourage you that you shouldn't always want everything to happen like tomorrow because you've got to grow and you've got to learn and you have to stretch and be prepared to handle the sex, the success, the fame, money, whatever it is that you want. You've got to be prepared. God doesn't just give you things without preparing you. That would be irresponsible. Um, so that's why he wouldn't do that. And that's the reason why, like, even with myself, like with me trying to prepare to have my stardom program, there are so many things I'm going to have to do behind the scenes to prepare for it. Like, number one, I'm going to have to pray that God will bring me the right people. Number two, I'm going to be doing live streams like this to promote it. Number three, I'm going to basically be blogging to get the word out there about my, my program. I'm going to be posting about it on Instagram, posting about it on Facebook. I'm going to send out newsletters. I'm going to probably do some, you know, like maybe a challenge or something, like a free challenge. I'm going to probably do some, like make affirmations, read books to get my mind into the right frame of mind to receive all these amazing people that will be coming in. Like I'm probably going to have to be creating the content in advance and so on and so forth. Some of the content preparing, like mapping out what is going to be in this program. Because I already know, I've already mapped out the lessons, but I've got to like go even deeper and think about the details as well. Like what do, you, what do I think people are going to want? I'm going to have to create a survey so I can find out what you want to receive in the program as well. So like <laughs> there's just so much to prepare. I've got to make sure that the sales page is ready, which it is ready, but there's just so much, so much to prepare. So basically, that is how life is. If you want to become a qualified driver, you need to learn how to become one by doing your theory tests. You know, you start doing all the research, you figure out what car you want to buy. If you want to buy a car, you basically go for the lessons. You have to pass your practical. There is 
you know, there are stages and processes to get from A to B or from A to Z, A to Z. Um, so you need to definitely be thinking wise and not just wanting to quickly like jump into everything like in, in 10 seconds. Like, like I said to you, the success that my clients achieve happens really quickly. But at the same time, you've got to bear in mind that sometimes it can take a little bit of time. And, this, and it's okay for it to take time. It's literally okay for it to take time. It doesn't always have to happen like tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. The most important thing is how prepared are you? The more ready you are, the more these great things are going to happen. If you're ready right now, those great things will happen right now if you want it bad enough. Okay, so you're going to have to meet me halfway and do the work and actually watch the live streams and actually show up. Leave comments, you know, engage, ask questions. Because I can't help you if you don't help yourself. Like if you just think that you can just join it pay the money and then you never you should go show up in the group you've never watched anything please don't kid yourself like be real with yourself honestly i never learned about like you know let me just show you a book i've got in front of me right now like this book for example if i want to get anything from this book this book is called nice girls don't get rich so basically it's mistakes to avoid 75 avoidable mistakes women make with money and it's all about like you know improving your money mindset improving your the way you handle money and so on and so forth. Um, if I want to be rich, which is what I'm working towards, um, I need to be reading books like this, okay? It takes a lot of studying for years. It could even be years where you're studying and learning and, and of course money will still be coming through, but it could take time to hit the certain income goals you want. It could take weeks, it could take months, it could happen overnight. Sometimes these things do happen overnight, but it can take time too. And I think I would prefer it to take time take the I would prefer for it to take the time that it needs to take because the worst thing you can do is to receive a hundred thousand pounds tomorrow and you don't have a clue what to do with it and you squander the whole thing that's why millionaires most of them that become millionaires actually you know continue to become you know they keep growing they keep being successful but what happens when people get rich too quickly like if you think about people that win the lottery they tend to le just really go downhill really fast they tend to spend all the money within a year or something and they're pretty much in worse debt than they've ever been they're pretty much like worse off than they were before they even became rich and so i don't believe in the whole winning the lottery thing i believe in people actually doing the work to become a millionaire if they want to become a millionaire and obviously it's nice to win the lottery i would if i won it tomorrow i would not say oh take it back i would be like really happy but at the same time i know that money that's not handled well can also be devastating to people's lives as well so my program is to prepare you for all things media um success motivation is to prepare you for your year of like stardom which is what i believe it's your year i believe it's your year for stardom but you have to do the work you have to literally implement 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 go out there take action if you want to see results Okay, so another question I want to quickly answer before I head off is you might be wondering, you might be wondering, um, basically, like, what excuse, what could stop you from doing it? Like, if you want to do it, I would say the first thing is definitely fear. Like, if you're thinking, oh my God, I'm afraid, I'm afraid to join. Well, I would say the first thing you could do is you could actually reach out to me, by the way, and I would definitely talk to you and give you as much advice as I possibly, not advice, but as in I'll give you as much like insight as I possibly can into what to expect. So if you're a bit worried or concerned, do reach out to me and I will definitely give you some information so that you know what to expect from the course and you can make a better decision. But the thing is, all I can say to you is, in terms of fear, it's a low cost program, it's not expensive, it's only one, two, seven. That might be expensive to you depending on your finances right now, but it's an investment. So it's not just like you're gonna pay all this money and then nothing is going to happen you're going to pay money you're going to do the work and then you're going to get results that's that's what is the good news is that if you implement you're going to get results and it's going to change your life okay so another thing that you might be concerned about or think oh I, you know I, I shouldn't i can't do this cause you might be thinking that maybe it's too expensive and i would say to you you know how much money do you spend on bottles of water bottles of water or how much money do you spend on buying chewing gum every day or buying a pack of crisp every day or buying a coffee every day you know if you were to just not buy coffee for a month I'm sure you could afford this program 
And um, that's sometimes what we've got to realize is that we're spending money, squandering money on things that we may even not need. Like, do you really need a pack of crisp every day? Do you really need, a, you know, do you really need to buy coffee every day? What if you just didn't use that money for coffee, but used it for this program? Wouldn't that change your life? You could obviously buy coffee, you know, you could buy one coffee char that costs probably two ninety nine or something, make coffee every day from your home, put it in a flask and take it to work and you'll save the money and put it towards the, co the course. So if you think about it in that way, then, you know, isn't your life worth investing in? Like you're investing in something that, to be honest with you, you don't even need to be buying. It's nice to buy coffee. I, I definitely love coffee. But what I'm saying to you is sometimes we buy these things that we don't even really need because we've got them at home. And we can just make those things at home and bring them to work. Like, I don't need to buy sandwiches every day if I work if I work somewhere. Like, if I, if I was working somewhere right now, I wouldn't need to buy sandwiches every day because I could make sandwiches at home. However, we do that because we want the luxury. We want to feel good. We want to enjoy these things. We want to be able to, you know, spend our money and everything. But just think also about, like, what have you done to invest in yourself? And if you have invested in yourself, do you think that you've invested enough to now be a millionaire? or to now live the life of your dreams, maybe you still need to keep investing. Like I remember when I was speaking to one of my clients once and and she had done some programs with some other coaches and she was just saying, oh, you know, she'd invested so much and everything. And I said to her, you know what, the truth is, I believe you should keep investing until you make it. And even when you do make it, you still need to invest. Because to be honest with you, I'm not gonna stop buying books because I really realize the value of buying books. Um, Apparently millionaires read approximately 60 books a year. So if I want to be like them, I need to be doing what they do. Now, you might be thinking, oh my God, investing is expensive, this, that and the other. But you've got to bear in mind that Beyonce hires how many songwriters? She's hired approximately 150 songwriters to help her with her songs. This goes to show that she's willing to invest to make sure she gets the best of the best. And I think you should treat yourself that same way. L'Oreal was what, you know, L'Oreal was right. You are worth it. You're worth it. You're worth the investment. You know, that's why people buy those designer handbags or they buy those shoes or they buy that, that you know, the Rolex watch because they come to a point where they're like, you know what, I'm actually worth it. I deserve this watch. You know, you deserve to be in this course. If you want to be in, if you believe it's for you, you deserve it. I'm cheering you on. Just go for it if you want to do it. Okay, so another question that you might have that you might want to ask me is you might want to know that the question, the answer to this question, you might want to know, is, you know, stardom about like sort of being a celebrity and is it just about that? Is it, do I have to want to be famous to do this program? And what do you mean by this whole stardom thing anyway? So to answer that question, if you have this question for me, I would say that it's just actually not really about being a celebrity as such. It's actually about being the next level version of you. It's about you going to that next level. It's about you adding, sorry, I'm going to adding more creativity into what you do. It's about you infusing the star qualities and stardom and all of that good stuff into your brand, into your life, so that you can light up a room when you walk somewhere, when you go somewhere, you light up a room. When you're on stage, you shine. When you're on social media, people actually notice you. Have you ever just never noticed some people? Like, are there, are there anyone... Like, are they any people, do you have any people in your life that you just don't notice? Think about them now. Think of three people that you don't notice. You never pay attention to them, ever. Not even for a minute. You probably have some friends on your Facebook page right now. Some friends on Instagram, people that you're following, or people on Snapchat, and you never watch their stuff. You never pay attention. And the reason why you don't pay attention is because you don't think they're interested. You don't, you don't find anything they do fascinating. You think they're boring or they just don't stand out. Because even people that you don't like, like there may be some people that you hate, but you still watch their stuff, or you still notice them, or you still like something, or you still leave a comment disliking something. The reason why you're doing that is because they actually stand out, they actually have grabbed your attention. And so I want you to be attention grabbing this year, but in a good way, okay? Right, so I think I've answered everything. And um, I guess the biggest excuse that you may think of with this program is you might just be thinking, you might, you might think something like, oh, I can't do it because I'm too busy, I've got lots on, I can't afford it. 
I honestly think these things are excuses. I really believe if you're too busy, you've got to make time. You've got to make time for yourself. You've got to make time for your dreams. And I don't really know any other program that's going to teach you how to break into the media for such a small amount of money. £127 is so easily, um, it's so affordable considering that I did my degree and I paid like thousands of pounds to do my degree. I paid like, you know, I when I did mass communications and sociology, mass communications is like mass media. When I did that, I didn't pay £127. So the knowledge I've acquired, you're actually paying a tiny piece of what I've paid to get the, the information that I have, okay? When I was working in the TV industry, you know, I didn't just like watch one, you know, a few videos, a few live streams and then become, you know, qualified and able to do the job. No, I actually went out and got the qualifications and actually had to do the work to get the skills over years. I didn't have anyone really telling me, oh, this is what you do to be the best presenter or whatever. But you're going to get like inside information on how to, to break into the media and be a star and shine and do well without having to actually go and do a degree or a master's degree or something like that. Okay, so definitely take advantage of my mini course, which is going to be so, so good for you. 15 live streams. Each live stream I do is going to be about between 20 and 60 minutes and it's going to be really insightful. I might have a couple that might be a little bit shorter if it's not something that I have to really elaborate on, but you are going to love it because I'm going to be showing you my authentic self. Best thing you can do as well is check out the testimonials on the page and the page is www.queenchevermedia.com forward slash stardom um definitely check it out hope you can join i'm gonna leave a link below and all the details below again um if you want to have like a 15 minute chat with me on skype just to find out more about it let me know or if you want me to send you information just send me a private message and i'll definitely get back to you or you can send me an email over at info at queenchemmermedia.com or you can just literally leave me a comment below and i will um private message you so I hope this helps. And if, by the way, if you know anyone that needs this program, please do share it with them. And um, God bless you. If you're watching on the replay, thank you so much. I know that many of you aren't here live right now, but thank you for watching. And I hope this has really answered your questions. I'm probably going to put this video onto the page of the, like the sales page of Stardom. So that anyone that wants to know details will be able to find them out by watching this. But I just wish you a great day. Take care.